A motion still running high after protesters forced a meeting to end early last night. And tonight we asked both sides how this demonstration escalated to chaos so quickly. It was a scene fire and police commissioners did not expect Thursday night. Outside the meeting room door, nearly 100 protesters raising their voices. A few protesters taunting officers, but they did not respond. A day after the chaos, still fired up and frustrated that the public knows little about the investigation of Dontre Hamilton's death. They wonder why we, we, why we take to the streets, um, because that's the way that we've gotten recognized. But last night's tactics did not get them in the meeting. Deborah Jenkins was inside. All of a sudden, they just decided that they were going to join the meeting, and I kept asking them, please let these people be heard. But the commission abruptly adjourned because the group was disruptive, and to protect the commissioners and the chief, police escorted them out of the room. I tried to ask the commissioners if this could have been avoided if the meeting had been moved to a larger room, but four of six commissioners were either not at home or refused to comment. But until I talk to all the women cards, then I'm going to make a statement. Meanwhile, protesters aren't the only ones frustrated. My frustration is that, you know, some elements of this, you know, legitimate family concern has morphed into an opportunity for self-appointed activists to launch an attack on the police attempts to keep people safe in this community. Well, the protesters say they will continue to demonstrate until the DA announces if he will seek charges or not against the officer involved. The timetable on that announcement remains unknown. And another development today, Dontre Hamilton's family has been demanding that the name of the officer who shot Hamilton be made public. Well, both the DA and the police chief confirmed today the family was given the officer's name in July. The fact is, yes, they have been briefed by the district attorney's office and provided with all of the information available at that time about this incident, including the name of the police officer. The family still wants police to release the officer's name to the public, but police refuse to do that until there's a decision on possible charges.